Friday night and you've got nothing better to do which means only one thing. It's time for Since the Last Show with your host, Jack. It wasn't me, Officer Fallo, and Nick handcuffed me, Officer Charm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and as you can see, the hosts for Since the Last Show have changed yet again. It's not our fault, though. Disorganization is a disease. We'll be starting off with world news. Russia. Oof. I haven't even said anything yet. I'm just always prepared for bad news coming out of Russia. No. Anyway, Russia has banned soldiers from using smartphones in order to protect sensitive military information. Interestingly enough, it wasn't so much a worry about hackers as it was to prevent soldiers from posting on social media. Well, Russia claimed not to be involved in Ukraine and Syria, social media posts by the soldiers showed otherwise. Kind of like when you forget your mom follows you on Snapchat and you tell her you were at Bible study, but then your story shows you were strung out on cocaine you think at furry time. <laughs> that was way too specific. <laughs> Speaking of cocaine, uh, two French mothers were being charged with narcotics possession after it was discovered that they were carrying a whopping 1,500 pounds of nose candy in their suitcases. Apparently, they didn't know that the cocaine was on board the plane. As usual, this French conflict will likely be will likely end in a surrender, a surrender to the police. <laughs> Looks like that operation was really blown, huh? <laughs> Drug use is nothing to snort at, Nick. Okay. <laughs> 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 the late fashion designer Carl Lagerfeld named his cat Chopin as the heir to his estate. I wonder if he will help me out. Chopin, <laughs> <laughs> is that a real name? It's probably French or something, like lace or tea plate or hentai. Moving the ball. <laughs> anyway, if you need me, I'll, re I'll be pretending to be a cat for the rest of my life. You can call me Jacquette. All right, you furry freak, calm down. I will do anything to pay off my student debt. <laughs> and we're moving on. An Australian rodent was blamed the first mammal extinct from climate change caused by human activities. The Bramble K. Malamus is now dead. That brings humans one step closer to last mammal standing. <laughs> now all we have to do is kill 5,515 more species. When asked for comment, humanity said, challenge accepted. <laughs> what, even is, what even is a Bramble K. Malami anyway? That. That thing's from Australia? No way, it's not deadly enough. Why should I care about that stupid rodent? Call me when bears start dying. Like pandas? Call me when cool bears start dying. <laughs> what about polar bears? Those don't exist. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> An Ethiopian man is now the father of a beehive. To quote the man, whose name I refuse to pronounce on the sheer fact that I don't recognize any language that isn't English, bees follow me and I just don't know why. The bees just built a hive in his front room, and they kind of follow him around as he travels. I wish someone followed me in my travels. Why do you think I follow you wherever you go? Do you love? Well, yes, but actually no. You just drop a lot of food when you eat? You know I have a medical condition where my mouth doesn't hold food properly anymore. Why do you keep bringing it up? How did that even happen? Sucking too much dick. Moving <laughs> <laughs> on to national <laughs> For 20 years, visitors to the Grand Canyon have been unknowingly exposed to radiation above the federal limit. Park Service employees found five gallon buckets of radioactive uranium, uranium ore that had just been sitting next to a taxidermy exhibit for 20 years. Armed with gardening gloves and mop handles, employees loaded the buckets onto the back of a truck and dumped it into the lost orphan uranium mine. That sounds like a great idea. In exciting news, seeing you tonight is proud to release a new or to announce a new video game release. Fallout Grand Canyon. <laughs> the president has declared a state of emergency over the wall. This is reasonable because, as we know, Mexican winter is coming. <laughs> we didn't think it was possible, but Girl Scout cookies have gotten even more popular among single mothers. One Girl Scout put Jason Momoa onto 35 boxes of their support. <laughs> <laughs> based entirely on wordplay and pecs. <laughs> I didn't think I could be aroused by a box, but here we are. <laughs> okay, let's stop whatever happens. <laughs> Moving on to campus news. Peter CNU recently performed Oklahoma. It was a great production with tons of heart and a beautifully innocent love story. 
Are we just going to ignore the psychopath who tries to kill the groom at the wedding? Yes. Teflon is going to be scarred for life. Yeah, but did you hear the great finale? Speaking of finale, they finale finished whatever they were doing with the parking lot in front of the library. They closed the lot, did something with it, and now it's reopened. And of course, students aren't allowed to park. So, seeing you is adding an addition to the Ferguson Center. <clears throat> the, ex the new expansion will feature an art gallery. Hang student works. You probably noticed it as you were coming in because of the giant fucking green fence blocking it. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. A man who calls himself John was spotted on campus asking for the two. That's right. If you see John on the bike, do not tutor him. He doesn't even go. Obvious. I mean, what college student actually goes to tutor? <laughs> Well, there you go. Moving on to entertainment news. During her tribute at the Grammys, Dolly Parton decided that Katy Perry, Casey Musgraves, and her own goddaughter, Miley Cyrus, weren't good enough. As can be expected from a 73-year-old woman with about as much plastic as the Pacific Ocean. She sang so well that some of the artists performing with her just fucking stopped singing. Speaking of the Grammys, Childish Gambino won both Song of the Year and Album of the Year. However, like Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Justin Timberlake, and Ariana Grande. He decided not to show up. For those of you playing at home, those are the biggest names in music not showing up to their own award show. That's like if a bunch of famous actors didn't show up to the Oscars. Oh wait. <laughs> Instead, actually, anyway, the Oscars currently can't find a host and are expecting the lowest views ever. Instead, I'll be watching the only TV show I care about. The Great British Baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of British, in a shocking turn of events, legendary rapper, cultural icon, and gone amongst crumpets, 21 Savage, <laughs> has been revealed to actually be a British immigrant rather than a hometown Atlantean boy next door. Atlanta sucks. <laughs> Furthermore, his name on the name of his passport is actually Sir Savage the 21st, the next in the long line of British royalty. In fact, these royal ties are so deep. That Queen Elizabeth is who he mentioned when he said, 5-5, five, five, she might ride or die. <laughs> In case you didn't know, the Queen is shockingly 5'5". Five five. Furthermore, these shooters in red? got damn redcoats! Apparently, they don't teach subtlety at Hogwarts or wherever the fuck his limey ass came from. Now, Lana still sucks. That's all I wanted to say. Hey, Jack. Hey, Nick. Do you look at memes? Do nuns sweat the cucumber patch? Because there's... What? <laughs> <laughs>